Good evening. One year after the violent stabbing and shooting at McKinley High School, a teenager involved in that attack was sentenced to one to three years in prison today. News First Tara Lynch is live tonight with reaction from one of the families of the stabbing victim. She's live at outside the high school. Tara? Don and Kelsey, not enough. That's what the family of 15 year old Sergio Jeter said after the sentencing today. Sergio was stabbed 10 times right here at McKinley High School just a year ago. I sat down with Sergio's mother, who was visibly emotional after court. No, I don't feel like it was enough. One 18 year old was sentenced in connection to the incident at McKinley High School. He was 17 at the time of the attack. He pled guilty to attempted murder and assault charges. A second 18 year old involved in the incident was also in court today, pleading guilty to two different violent felony charges. Prosecutors say he brought a loaded gun to the fight and shot security officer Bradley Walker, who ran over to try and break it up. You kind of hope that they will, you know, look remorseful or look like, you know, they were in an isolated situation or like they didn't have, you know, like they were forced into it like Sergio was, but they did not. He pled to guilty to the charge uh, and, you know, he's and, and, and he's going to stay prison. So at, at least there's some closure in that. DA John Flynn calls the teen that was sentenced Friday an accomplice, saying he believes the teen knows who stabbed Sergio Jeter. I made him plead guilty to the charge because I believe that he knows who the stabber is, and he's not talking. Sergio Jeter's mom, Ariel, says he continues to recover from the attack every day. His physical scars are healed emotionally. And psychologically, there's just never a way to know. Sergio Jeter's family filed a civil complaint against Buffalo Public Schools and former Superintendent Kreiner Cash, claiming they could have prevented the attack. Attorney John Elmore represents the family in that case and is calling for more safety measures in the district. Better training for teachers, better security, um, a better police presence, because if this doesn't change and these schools are not safe, then the next generation and the generation after that is going to be affected. Attorney John Elmore says that Buffalo Public Schools need significant improvement in safety and security to prevent an incident like this from ever happening again. Buffalo Public Schools tells News 4 it will not comment on pending litigation. For now, live outside of McKinley High School, Tara Lynch, News 4.